Hey everybody, this is Deb with Truthfication Chronicles, and I just have a quick one for you this morning, but uh, if you watch the ones I did the last couple of days, they're really good, and you may not see them in your feed like in the recommended videos because, you know, the big D happened to them, so that's what always happens, but the information in them is really good, so make sure you go watch them. I'll put the thumbnails here so you can see them. But the links will be down below in the description, like always, and I'll have links to those two videos because you really need to see the content in those. Anyway, I wanted to give you a couple of pieces of information of, you know, things that have been happening. I honestly have about 40 tabs open right now, and I could go through and in an hour probably. It'd take me an hour or more to do this, but... I want to just give you this one right now and then I'll work on one tomorrow that covers some of this other stuff because it's just so much and so much has been happening and you know the researchers are digging and finding all kinds of stuff that I want to share with you it's just that you know I can only do so much so I wanted to take this time and just show you what happened here to Miss Michigan and you know she's a University of Michigan student and she was stripped of her title. Why? Well, because she's a conservative and she made some posts that were conservative posts. Yeah, isn't that crazy? I mean, really, this is where we're at. And, you know, they can't take comments that just don't agree with them and those people have to be censored and that's kind of what they're doing here. So Joy Vila said this, this is insane, you know, and this Miss World Limited Beauty Queen, Political Kathy is her Twitter handle, stripped of her Miss Michigan title for being a conservative? Unbelievable. And here's one from Jack Posobiec. The Miss World Limited competition is stripped Trump supporter Political Kathy of her title as Miss Michigan. So yeah, this is where we're at, folks. That we are now at this point where you have to defend your tweets. And so I'm going to leave this for you so you can read about what happened to her. It really is just very sad because she was standing up for sanity and, you know, common sense. And of course, that's not what they want to hear because she wasn't saying all the politically correct talking points. And I also wanted to point out to you another one. Similarly, look what Twitter did here. Yeah, they suspended this angel mom for posting about what? Mm-hmm. Yep, that's what she was posting about. And you're wondering why I'm avoiding those words. Well, because you know what will happen to me if I say them. So, yeah, but I can say undocumented, okay, and that'll pass. So anyway, this woman right here was kicked off of Twitter while well, suspended after posting about that mm -hmm, and kind of asking a similar question to what I have said. I have a meme that I did. You know, I have two different versions of it, one with Elijah Cummings and one with Chuck Schumer. It basically calls them out on what they're saying because they're all saying no one is above the law. And you're hearing that over and over and over again. No one is above the law. But yet, if you come across our border without any legitimate documentation, then guess what? You are above the law. So I don't get it. I mean, can they not see how these two things are opposites? You know, either people are above the law and they don't have to adhere to what our law says, or they're not. And everyone has to abide by the same law. So that's what I wanted to share with you on this. And I know I'm kind of skirting the issue, but it is because of the big D. And I really just need one video here that's not going to put me in that type of purgatory because that's what really happens when you get the D. You get a net loss in your subscriptions, and that's what I've been getting. And not that it matters really how many subscribers I have, but I also know that when that happens, you don't see the video. 
I mean, it's like not put in the recommended videos very much, hardly ever. And I know that because the shift happens between the percentage of subscribers that view the video versus people who are not subscribed. It flips tremendously. It used to be that 80% of the views on my videos were being done by people who were not subscribed. And granted, I have more subscribers now, so that's part of it. But yeah, it's really totally flopped over the other way. So I know that the videos are not getting out there as much. They're not being shown to other people who are not subscribed. So that's what I wanted to let you know. And, you know, I'm really not saying this because of myself. I don't want you to take it as me whining. It's that I need you to be aware of what's happening to conservatives because it's not just me. I was just listening to, who was it? Just, oh, Dan Bongino was saying how that's happening to him. And he's, you know, they lose subscribers and stuff. And I want you to be aware that it's not just me. It's happening across the board to so many of us. So that's why I want you to watch that video. Because that video is very important. And you need to understand, yes, it was the big D, of course. Because, you know, you can't have anybody say anything bad about the parent company. So anyway... That's what I've got for you on this one. I will work on another one that has a whole big bunch of things in it. And it's probably going to be one of those I'm not editing ones because I have so many tabs open. And I do apologize for the flickering for those like 20 seconds in that one video. I was having some computer issues and I thought it would render okay. And then I totally spaced it because it was really late when that one finished. So... Anyway, that's what I've got for you on this one, and look for another one sometime Saturday, probably late afternoon or evening, and it'll be chock full of tons of stuff, little bits and pieces. So that's what I've got for you on this one. I want to thank you for stopping by, and I'll see you all later. Bye.